Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Salah Fan's YouTube channel and a very good day to you all. Now, why did I say a good day? I learned this from a YouTube video, okay? Fun, once first he said good morning, then he said no, it could be a day, an evening at your side. Then he said it could be night at somebody else's side. So then he said, whatever time of the day is this video being uploaded, whatever time of the day are you watching this video? So that is the time of the day. So very good day to you all. Not a good good morning, not a good night, not a good evening, a very good day. So that is what I copied from there. By the way, the next topic is the transformation of the amplitude. The book has not discussed it over here. It may have discussed it later on, but I say it is directly related to the previous topic. So we discuss it over here. We saw the transformation of the independent variable in the last case. Over here, the amplitude, you know, is the dependent variable. It depends on the independent that is time. So this over here, we would be playing with the dependent variable, which means we would, in this case, playing, we'll be playing along the y-axis, all right? And in the similar fashion that we saw in the previous video, we have amplitude scaling, amplitude shifting, and amplitude reverse. So the first of them that we discuss is, let's say, amplitude shift all right the first is amplitude shifting so amplitude is along the y-axis and shift we will be also playing along the y-axis so which means that the signal would either be shifted upwards or downwards signal would be shifted upwards or downwards all right if, if i if i write the generalized uh, form of it so so let's say it would be like this that if you have a function x of t and you apply apply the amplitude shifting on it so you have a new function x of t plus a constant k now each and, each and everything would depend on this constant k all right so if k is greater than, so 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 the things would now depend on this k so k could be either greater than one or greater than zero or less than zero okay if this value of k is greater than zero we have a shift upward And similarly, if we have this value of k is less than 0, so we have a shift downward. If this k equals 0, so we don't have any shift, we have the same signal. Is that fine? So, now let's say we, we have an example, okay? So, say I write this example, okay? x of t is x of t is 0, 2 and 0. So, this is for t less than 0. This is for t between 0 and 2, and this is t greater than 2. Alright, so this is a function given to us, x of t. And let's say I draw this function x of t as well. So it would be like this, fine. This is t, this is x of t. So it is 0 when t is less than 0, so it would be like this, fine. Similarly, it's 2 from 0 to 2. And then it's again 2. So this is the waveform that I drew in the previous lecture as well, okay? Now have a look. So let's say I shift it upward with k equal to, let's say I have some, apply the amplitude shifting with some positive value of k. And let's say I say that k is equal to 2 in this case. So the new signal would be what? It would be x of t plus 2. And this, so you will add 2 to each and every value. So 0 plus 2 would be 2. 2 plus 2 would be 4. And 0 plus 2 would be 2. And note that in this case, the independent variable would remain the same. This would be for t less than 0. This would be for t in between 0 and 2. And this is for t greater than 2. So now if I draw it over here, graphically this is t, this is x of t, 
and outside plus 2. So I will have, it's 2 for t less than 0. So if this is 2, let's say. So over here, like this, fine. Then it's 4 from 0 to 2. So if this is 2 and this is 4, so it would be like this. And then it's again 2 from when t is greater than 2. So like this. So have a look. The signal has been shifted upward when we amplitude when we apply the amplitude shifting with some positive value of k. Similarly, now if you have a negative value of k, let's say k is equal to negative 2 in this case. So what would be the function's value when x of t minus 2 is the case? So have a look. The original signal 0, now you will minus 2 from it. So it will be now negative 2. And I will come to this side. So this would now be negative 2, okay? Then you have 2, so 2 minus 2 would be 0. And then you have 0, so 0 minus 2 would be a negative 2. And note that the independent variable would be the same. Alright? So, so now if I draw this over here, this is t and this is x of t and minus 2. So I will look, it's negative 2 for t less than 0. So this is negative 2. So this is negative 2 for, two for, for t less than 0 like this. Fine. Then it's 0 for what? For 0 to 2. So if this is 2, so this is 0. Fine. And after 2, it's again negative 2. So like this. So have a look. It's the same signal. Now the same signal, if you have amplitude shifting with k up some positive value, you have shifted the same signal upwards. If you have amplitude shifting with k negative value, so you have the same signal shifted downwards. That's about the first case. Now we see the next. That is the amplitude scaling. Okay. So the second is amplitude scaling. Now what you do in the amplitude scaling is you multiply the amplitude by a real number. Alright, you multiply amplitude by a real number. Alright, so let's say you have a function x of t and you apply, apply the amplitude scaling. So you have the new function equal to beta times x of t. Is that okay? Now the shift, the scale will now depend on the value of beta. This beta could either be a positive value or it could be a negative value. Greater than 1 or less than one okay not positive negative the amp the 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 the, the what the modulus could be either uh, greater than one or it could be less than one so for beta let's say the first word here i write for beta absolute greater than one we would have amplification which means that that what that the amplitude would increase and similarly for the value of beta absolute less than 1, we would have amplitude reduction. Alright. So, so now we see this through an example. Okay. So let's say the same example that I'm taking from the last video is, is a simpler example. So have a look. Let's say x of t is like this. x of t. So let's say this is like this, okay? This is 3 and let's say this is also. So x of t. Now if you apply a, a, the, the amplitude scaling with some value of beta greater than 1. So let's say I have beta equal to 2. So now this signal would be what? It would be 2 times the x of t. 
and and which means what will be the case that u will multiply the amplitude at each and every time so at t is equal to zero the time was three previously so now uh, the amplitude was three previously so now in two times x of t the amplitude would be double which means that now the amplitude would be 6 at t is equal to 0 and similarly this will continue to t is equal to 3 at t is equal to 3 also the amplitude is 3 3 multiplied 2 is 6 again at 3 this would also be 6 so have a look the signal's amplitude has increased alright now if you go for the amplitude reduction so if this is the case so say I take a value let's say 0.5 so I have 0.5 times x of t so which means you would multiply the amplitude at each and every instant with 0.5 so have a look it's 3 so 3 multiplied with 0.5 will give you a 1.5 so the amplitude will drop to 1.5 and it will stay 1.5 till 3 and this is the function is that okay this is the second case now the third case and the final case is that of the amplitude reversal and this is a special case of uh, this as we saw there so this is this was uh, the second and the third would be amplitude reversal So the amplitude reversal is what? It's a special case of amplitude uh, scaling. With the value of beta equal to negative 1. Alright. So let's say I have the same example this one. And now I apply this beta equal to negative 1. So which means that I would have to multiply each and every value at each and every instant of time with a negative one so this the, this word be like this this is t so have a look i did not write the generalized form so so this would be what x of t you apply the amplitude scaling with beta equal to negative one so you have negative times x of t so if you have this negative times x of t so if this is the function negative times x of t so have a look this was 3 so now this would become a negative 3 and it stayed 3 till 3 so now it will stay negative 3 till 3 so this is 3 and this is negative 3 and have a look so now from here we can draw a conclusion that the amplitude reversed signal that is negative x of t is basically what it's the mirror image of the original signal x of t with respect to or about the horizontal axis about the x axis have a look if this was the value x of 3 and if you flip it around the, the vertical and uh, the horizontal axis like this so this is the mirror image of it all right now have a look for the uh, shape of the waveform okay so this uh, this would be a mirror image that is what I have already told you now in amplitude shifting and amplitude scaling okay in scaling the waveform will change whereas in shifting the waveform will remain the same so have a look we have we have discussed it over here the waveforms have changed so in amplitude uh, scaling the waveform will change as we have seen it waveform will change fine whereas in the amplitude shifting in the amplitude shifting waveform will remain same and also have a look for one other point the time will remain the same when you are doing the transformation with respect to the amplitude all right and similarly in the in when you are doing the transformation with respect to the time so the amplitude will remain the same so i will write it uh, over here over there okay 
when you are dealing with transformations of amplitude so in this case what would happen is that the time will remain the same isn't it so you can see it from here the time is always from 0 to 3 as in this example similarly when you are doing transformation the time transformations so over there the amplitude will remain the same except for that time reversal where you have it at negative 3 so the basically the modulus is the same so i can say that the modulus of the of the uh, of the amplitude will remain the same when dealing with time transformations that's all about transformations that's all about today see you in the next lecture maybe with some examples on these transformations all right so till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers as well okay so goodbye